How to get Dior's new no makeup makeup look. Dior and number 39 semicolon s artistic director Maria Grazichiri initially asked for a strong lip. She wanted a lip because Stephen Jones created these amazing hats with veils and we thought it would work well, said creative and image director for Dior makeup Peter Phillips, who met up with the Hollywood Reporter backstage at Musee Rodin on Monday afternoon before Dior and number 39 semicolon s fall 2018 haute couture show. However, the bold combination overpowered the ethereal clothing, so Chiri decided on something significantly more subdued. We focused on skin that blends in with the new tones of the collection, said Phillips. It's definitely the nudest look I've ever done. Top to toe flawless skin came down to one hero product, the Orbach stage face and body foundation. Phillips applied it to the face, legs, arms, cleavage and backs of all the models, sand setting powder. He prepped complexions with Dior Capture Youth Glow Booster, but don't be fooled by the name, it doesn't make skin appear shiny, but rather adds a matte luminosity. A last minute hint of shimmer was added to cheeks and lids using the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I used the strobe white and strobe gold shades on lighter skin tones and the strobe gold and blush bronze shades on darker skin tones, said Phillips. No blush mascara or lipstick. It's as close as you'll come to looking like hash I oak up like this. It's completely devoid of color, Phillips told THR. There's no distraction of prints or color in the clothing collection, so by doing a nude face, the girls almost became like mannequin dolls. It's simply a cloud of tool that passes you by on the runway without a lip or an eye or anything to distract.